Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I have a video for you that consists of footage that is straight from the cutting room floor, or rather it's video footage that you guys were never supposed to see. Um, this is an actual like kind of like a test run of the day 19 holiday card series video. Every once in a while I end up filming my practice run just in case it turns out and then I just go ahead and show that on my YouTube channel. But in this case, I never planned to use this video footage because the finished card, which was the second round, turned out so much better than this one, or at least I thought. Uh, so I ended up saving this video footage for whatever reason, and I thought I would show you guys how I did it today. So similar to the day 19 video, I'm going to be masking off some tree shapes and then using some watercolors to add color to the trees. The thing that I noticed differently about this video, though, is that the process is just a little bit different. I used some tree dies from Simon's Stamp and just traced the outer shape of the dies to give myself a guide for creating the masked tree areas. Then I only painted each tree one at a time after masking it. That's because the trees were so close together, I wasn't able to add the masking tape to all three without overlapping. So this first larger tree is the first one that I worked on, and I'm using three different colors of Windsor & Newton paints. This is Opera Rose, which is a very gorgeous pink color, Cobalt Blue, and then also Windsor Lemon. I think it's Lemon Yellow or Windsor Lemon. These are some great colors, and the reason I chose these colors is they reminded me of some Distress Ink colors. They reminded me of a Picked Raspberry, Squeeze Lemonade and Salty Ocean, which are three of my favorite distress colors to work with. So I knew that the colors would kind of mix together and I'd get a rainbow effect on these trees. So this is definitely not a traditional color palette for a Christmas card. In fact, I never even got far enough to make this into a Christmas card and you'll see that at the very end of the video. So after I painted the first two trees, dried them with my heat tool, and peeled off the masking tape, I was then able to add the masking tape to that third tree. So I'm adding water to that area and then dropping in more of that color. The thing that's important about this particular watercolor technique is that you have to make sure that your paper is wet before you drop in all of those colors. I've discovered that's the only way I get really good mixes of colors and it always looks like everything has a soft edge. It looks really nice. If you do have some areas that you have lots of water pulling up, you can kind of dry off your brush a little bit and put it back into that area and it will stop up some of that color. You can also dab your paper towel into that and just pick it up a little bit and it takes some of the, some away some of that color. So after I had all three tree images painted, I'm going to add some detail to these trees like I did in the day 19 video. And I'm just gonna scribble on some kind of garlands and some ornament strings. So this is very similar to the day 19 video, but it has quite a different look just because of the color palette. I call these trees psychedelic trees because they're so colorful. And kind of these quirky little ornament garlands kind of Go right along with that. I think it's a really fun and interesting Christmas card or holiday card in general. I'm using a black pilot envelope addressing pen for this doodling and that's because this pen in particular is waterproof. At this point I didn't know if I would be adding more watercolor on top or not. I ended up not adding any more on top but I didn't know if I would or not so that's why I used this pen in particular because it was waterproof going to fill in some of these little scallop lines here. Some are completely filled in and others just have lines. And then I'm going to do a zigzag on this tall skinny tree. I'm going to add some tree trunks to the bottom of these trees just to finish them off. This is something different that I did not do on that final card in day 19. And I'm also going to take a white gel pen and I'm going to add some white areas in the center of these dots. This is also something different that I didn't do on that other card. And I think the other card, the circles uh, ended up being a little bit better because I didn't fill them in and I later filled them in with gold. 
So if you want to see that other video I'm speaking of, go ahead and click on it on screen right now. It'll take you directly to that video. And that finishes the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I never actually finished this card. It's actually just the front panel. So I'm going to glue that into a card and call it done. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. again thanks for watching today's video I have some links for you on screen that very first video is the day 19 video from the holiday card series you'll recognize those trees the middle video is my holiday gift guide for 2015 getting closer to Christmas but if you're still looking for some holiday gifts for loved ones or friends go ahead and check that out and then I also have my DIY painted design that I turned into foil cards so if you want to purchase those printables go ahead and click on that video I'll show you how to assemble them and the links are there if you want to buy them thanks for watching today's video and I will catch you guys on Friday Okay.